Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, I will show you how to solve these given systems of equations in a super easy way. To get a full understanding of this topic, please watch this video till the very end for additional practice problems. And here is our very first example and we want to solve it for x and y. The very first thing as we can see that the the coefficient of y is missing so by default it is always 1 and so we can rewrite this equation as as this one 2x plus 1y equal to 6 and 3x plus 4y equals to 4 and now we are going to find the x value and y value so let's start off with x equal to, since we want to find x value, x equal to, let's make a fraction over here. And then the next step is we are going to cross multiply from left to right these numbers. 2 times 4 is going to give us 8. So I'm going to write at the denominator in parentheses 2 times 4 is 8 minus the other way around so this is going to be a positive 1 times 3 is going to be a minus in parentheses 3 and since we are solving for x variable this time we're gonna hide this x variables and now we're gonna cross multiplying once again and this time we are going to multiply from right to left 6 times positive 4 is going to give us 24 we're going to write it on the top in parentheses then I'm going to put a once again minus sign and now we're going to multiply the other way around you can see over here this positive 1 times 4 is going to give us positive 4 Let's simplify these ones so we're going to get 24 minus 4 is going to be 20 divided by 8 minus 3 is 5 that means x equal to 4 value and now in the next step we're going to find the y value so I'm going to put down y equal to once again fraction one thing just keep in your mind that the denominators for both x and y are always same so I'm gonna put down same thing over here I'm gonna copy and paste 8 in parentheses minus in parentheses 3 so now let's focus for this one over here since we are dealing with a y variable this time I'm gonna hide y variables and this time we're gonna cross multiply from left to right as you can see 2 times 4 is gonna give us 8 I'm gonna put down in parentheses and I'm gonna put a minus sign and this time I'm gonna multiply the other way around 6 times 3 is gonna give us 18 I'm going to put down in parentheses once again let's simplify now so that's going to be 8 minus 18 when we open up these parentheses divided by 5 at the denominators where we got negative 10 over 5 so y equals to negative 2 as our value so thus our solution to this system of equation turns out to be x equal to 4 and y equals to negative 2 and that is our answer and here is our next example and we will solve for x and y so we are looking for x value and y value let's start off with x I'm gonna put down over here x equal to I'm gonna put in a fraction and let's get started then and let's cross multiply as you can see arrow from left to right so this 4 times negative 3 is going to be negative 12 I'm going to put it at the denominator in parentheses negative 12 and then I'm going to put a minus sign I'm going to multiply the other way around negative 5 times 2 is going to be 
negative 10 I'm going to put it in a parentheses once again and since we are solving for x variable that means I'm going to hide x variable over here at this point and now we're going to cross multiplying once again and this time I'm going to cross multiplying from right to left see 8 times negative 3 is going to be negative 24 I'm going to put down these value at the top at the numerator negative 24 once again in parentheses and then minus sign and then we're going to multiply the other way around negative 5 times 6 that is going to be negative 30 in the parentheses let's simplify these fractions so let's open up these parentheses so that's going to be a negative 24 negative and negative become positive 30 divided by negative 12 and negative and negative become positive 10 let's simplify furthermore on the top is going to give us 6 divided by negative 2 as you can see this one so this could be simplified as x equal to negative 3 value and now let's find the value of y on this side y equals to once again we're going to put a fraction over here and one thing make sure that this denominator value whatever we got this is going to be same for x and y value so i'm going to put down this one over here negative 12 minus negative 10 this is always going to be same so now the next step is since we are solving for y variable this time i'm going to hide y variable over here and now we're going to cross multiply once again and this time we're going to multiply from left to right 4 times 6 is going to be 24 and we're going to put down that number in parentheses on the top then once again there's a minus sign and we are going to multiply 8 times 2 is 16 once again in the parentheses let's simplify and open up these parentheses this is going to be a 24 minus 16 and we know the denominator is negative 2 as we did it over here so that is going to give us 8 on the top divided by negative 2 so y turns out to be negative 4 as y value so thus our solution to this system of equation turns out to be negative 3 and negative 4 and here is your assignment can you do this one on your own now you can take your time luckily i have already uploaded this video as well please go ahead and check it out and see the correct answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye